The day starts here at the Manitoba Law Courts building with a question and answer period with journalists. In the afternoon, all nine Supreme Court justices will visit students at nine different high schools. It's important for us to be accessible to all Canadians because the Supreme Court is your court. The Supreme Court will hear two appeals this week. One is a criminal case from Manitoba, dealing with an accused person's right to a trial in a reasonable time. In the second, the court has to decide what school services the province of BC has to provide for its small French-speaking community. These are absolutely critical uh, issues in our society that, um, uh, that the Supreme Court deals with all the time. But the public, because they feel somewhat disassociated, uh, aren't fully aware of the role that they play. The justices will also meet with Indigenous, Métis and French leaders. There's been a lot of frustration and tension in Manitoba and Saskatchewan following lower court decisions in the deaths of Tina Fontaine and Colton Bushy. Many Indigenous people feel there's more than one level of justice in Canada. There's three. One is First Nations. One is non-First Nations, and, and the other one is the, you know, the, the government, the government that 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 holds all decisions, like, like that. Who who has the main main decision-making power? So we need to uh, balance that. There will also be a presentation of 40 sacred eagle feathers for use in Manitoba courtrooms. It's a culturally appropriate way for people to affirm or swear an affidavit instead of swearing on a Bible. They'll also be able to hold it while giving testimony. The president of the Manitoba Law Society says this is a step towards reconciliation. That's being done purposefully to recognize that um, our system needs to change and that our system needs to be more inclusive. There are high hopes this visit by the Supreme Court will bridge some of the distrust and build bridges of understanding between the two sides. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.